Hello everybody and welcome to a daily TNM broadcast. I'm Reagan here today giving you information about the Red Cross Club, the library's birthday, and various other topics. And I'm Winner, sharing news regarding homecoming week, the library book swap, and so much more. And last but not least, I'm Canyon, bringing you updates on all things Tiger Sports. Without further ado, here are the news and announcements that you need to know. Club will have a meeting this Tuesday on come to room 206 where they'll be discussing future volunteer opportunities for their organization. Everyone's Hollywood fits are looking fresh today. Here's an announcement from ASB about tomorrow's spirit day. Tomorrow wear your best western apparel. Show your tiger spirit. Yeah! <laughs> the library turns one on October 1st. To celebrate, Friends of the Library will host its first Book a Book of the Year on Thursday and Friday, October 3rd and 4th. All books will be $1. The library will also have over 100 new books available for checkout. Stop to celebrate. And with more news regarding the library, this week the library turns one. To celebrate, they'll be hosting a book swap on Thursday and Friday, October 3rd and 4th. You might be wondering, what's a book swap? Staff and students drop off gently used books appropriate books and receive a ticket to be used at a book donation table. There's lots of good books already available so stop on by the library to check it out. Interested in filming, photography, game design, animation, and anything else related to digital media? The Digital Media Club will be hosting their first meeting on Thursday, October 3rd. Come on up to room 214 at lunch to give it a try. Just another reminder, you can check out slowhexpressions.com at any time for daily hyper news about our school and the people that run around it. Got a story idea or strong opinion? Email Mr. Naren and write out the idea before you head to your next class. Environmental Club is having the first meeting of the year. Watch this video to learn more. Come to our first Environmental Club meeting this Wednesday, October 2nd. We're so excited to announce that our new club advisor is Miss Ensring, so the meeting will be held in her room, number 204. We will be throwing wildflower seed bombs up on the hill, introducing our new officers, and hearing what you want to see in Environmental Club this year. Everyone who comes to the meeting will get a sweet treat. Be there at lunch on Wednesday! <laughs> the Serve Club meets every Friday in room 121 at lunch. Show up to plan outlines, build community, and of course, get fitted. Come on in, the water's fine. Now on the canyon to cover the latest scores and results achieved by our very own Tiger Sports teams. We've got some exciting upcoming games today, Tigers. But first, let's talk about our past sports news. Yesterday, Girls Golf had a tournament at Dairy Creek Golf Course. Please check out their Instagram page to see the results from that tournament. That's all the news from the past sports events. Now let's talk about today's sports events. Girls Tennis has games against Lompoc at Lompoc at 3.30 p.m., both JV and Varsity. Wish our girls tennis team good luck as they head out to get some dubs. Girls Volleyball also has an away game at Templeton with freshmen at four, JV at five, and varsity at six. Best of luck girls volleyball. We know you're gonna do great. Finally, our girls and boys water polo teams will have one of the most exciting and important games for us to watch as they face down our rivals, Arroyo Grande High School, at home with JV at three and varsity at four for boys water polo and varsity at five and JV at six for girls water polo. It is crucial that you show up and cheer them on. Wow, we have some exciting games today. Now back to Reagan and Winter for today's lunch in this US in US history. For lunch today, we will have the options of pepperoni or pesto and veggie pizza, as well as a hummus box with house-made pita chips, a chicken Caesar wrap, or a bean Spanish rice and cheese burrito. Sounds delicious. And on this day in US history, in 1890, the Yosemite National Park was founded. The valley had been discovered by James D. Savage 
39 years previously and attained national park status after environmentalists John Muir and Robert Underwood Johnson lobbied for the preservation of the region. That's all from us, Tiger. See you tomorrow.